enthusiasts, it's me, I Prussian Productions! No, no, not I Sorrow Productions, that potato chip doesn't know how to pronounce os poison! Oif the Prussian! Instead, it's me, I Prussian Productions, and today, we're going to be experimenting to see if fire support works when there are no troops to support. That's right, if you read the title, you would know that today, I'm doing artillery only! Yeah! <laughs> Alright, now, I'm actually going to be playing as the Soviet Union. Now, you might be wondering why I would play as the Soviet Union. Well, anyone who's played World of Tanks knows that doing artillery only is just a bad idea. And no one does bad ideas better than the Soviets, of course. Oh, yes. Now, just a thing that you guys should know about me is that uh, I kind of play on a potato. That means that my frame rate will be as low as my IQ. Yay! All right. Now, the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to set all of our production not to guns. Who would need those? The only gun we know shoots in an arc. And it's called an artillery gun. We're just gonna want to set all of our production into artillery. Because that's all we're gonna need this series. No tanks, who needs those? Tru planes? No, who do who? The Soviets never use planes. Alright, looking here at the production, I think Stalin was planning for the Cold War a bit early. We're just pumping out these submarines, and we don't really even have much of a coastline that isn't frozen half of the year, so I'm just gonna get rid of these. I think we finally have a good production base now. We have artillery, and, um, artillery? Now, have you ever loaded up a game as the Soviet Onion and wondered, gee, what doctrine should I take? Nah, me neither, but today, since we're doing artillery only, we're gonna be doing superior firepower doctrine! Yeah! Eh, you know what? I mean, having to divide all these divisions into different templates is, uh, it's just too much work. I mean, I only get paid by YouTube, like, three cents because all my videos get demonetized. But, I don't know, it, you guys want it artillery only, I'm giving you artillery only, so I'm gonna just, you know, tag switch to France. Excellent! Now we're playing as the most brave and least likely to surrender country in the world. We will make sure to defend every part of our border. And of course, as the French, we need to make sure that those nasty other countries Feel our might! We need to be just like Napoleon was back in the olden days, when the French would just walk into Berlin and Moscow and nothing bad would happen. That's why we're going for aggressive focus. We have our new division template, descriptively named Artillery! And now all we have to do is switch all of our divisions to it. So as we all know, the worst enemy of our great French Empire is Le Allemagne. Oh, that is why we have drawn all these orders going into their country. Oh, also I forgot we're not gonna be needing any of these anymore, so we may as well scrap them. Goodbye, airplanes. Nice time not using it at all. Ugh, I don't know about you, but. I wish Halt of Iron 4 had a speed 6. I mean, YouTube isn't paying me by the hour. I mean, they aren't really paying me at all, so... Whatever. Oh, no. Sacre bleu! Alright, as any patriotic Frenchman would do, we have decided to declare war on Germany. The so-called declaration of war on Germany has turned out to be... nothing, really. So instead, I have a secret plan, and it involves a country called Belgium. The F Spanish Civil War has started! Who would have expected that? I've been sitting here, 
playing Hearts of Iron 4, and so far, no wars have started. This is unacceptable. Drew Turnell would just kill himself over this. So, I'm gonna take the honor and, you know, start with myself. That's why right, ISP's cat, prepare to see the Baguette Army form into action! Oh, well, well, well. Stanley Baldwin wants to join our war. I guess that makes him a lot better than other British leaders. Uh, yeah, guys, um, we're currently having a bit of a problem. Like,. I don't know, whenever I try to attack the enemy, it kind of like says that I can't. Um, let me like, hold up. Yeah, so like whenever I try to attack them, it just tells me that I need at least, what is that? 100,000 organization to fight. What is this, the 10 times mod? Yeah, so, um, I'm pretty sure that I'm supposed to be trucking into other countries' capitals, NOT THE OTHER WAY AROUND! Yep, and there it went. We just capitulated. And, um, I didn't even have time to record that. It just happened so quick. Um, yeah, I think this is pretty bad for my reputation as a Hearts of Iron 4 YouTuber. Yeah, um, what's up my crack boys? It's me, Drew Drunel. And I would just like to say, uh, Mr. What is it? I Prussian Productions? You're pretty bad at the game. I mean, like, I don't even play it. And you're still worse than me, which is saying quite a lot. So, um, I think you should just go quit this whole thing. Well, yes, in fact, yes. Uh, Spiffing Brit here, and I would just like to say that, Mr. I Prussian Productions, you could have just saved your country if you made the whole thing the Magino line. But Spiffy Brit, I didn't have any time to make the Magino line. I mean, like, I was so busy building all that artillery, and uh, it's it's not in the challenge, dude. The, the, the people, they wanted me to do artillery only, and I, I just did it. And it, I've just failed. That's been uh, Hearts of Iron 4 with uh, I Prussian Productions here. And please, like, subscribe, buy all my merch. Send me all of your ammunition because, um, it's gonna be pretty hard to bring back mainland France now that it's all gone to the Belgians, of course.